There is a saying in the Talmud, when you save a life, you save the whole world. If you think about it, with Raoul Wallenberg saving my life and also a good number of people, I mentioned that to you, I'm married, I have children and grandchildren. This is the generation that wasn't meant to be. Raoul Wallenberg was born on August 4th, 1912, into one of the most well-known families in Sweden, populated by notable bankers, diplomats, and politicians. In the mid-1930s, he worked at a Dutch bank in Palestine, where he first met Jewish refugees fleeing Nazi persecution in Germany. He was moved by their unfortunate plight. This was 1936, where he got some exposure there to uh, Jewish refugees already uh, fleeing what was to be the uh, the Holocaust. In the spring of 1944, Nazi Germany began its execution of the 800,000 Hungarian Jews still living in the country. Wallenberg, sensing their desperation, lobbied to attain a Swedish diplomatic post in Budapest, which he could use as a platform to assist Hungarian Jews. From this post, he granted Schutzpasses to approximately 20,000 Jews, giving them diplomatic immunity. Jewish passes were uh, passes uh, that, that declared you a Swede, uh, officially, and uh, they, were, uh, they allowed you to r move freely within Hungary because you were Swedish. With that paper, we managed to go into one of the safe houses. Wallenberg created safe houses, protected by neutral parties, and established centers to provide needy people with food and medical care. In this way, over 30,000 more were saved. It was an amazing thing, because he, he put Swedish flags up on buildings left and right. He didn't have room in the Swedish embassy anymore for the thousands of people he was saving. And finally, with the end of the war near and the Nazis threatening to murder Budapest's remaining 70,000 Jews, Wallenberg sent a warning to the Nazi leadership. If they would go to and seek to blow up the Budapest ghetto, he, Wallenberg, would see that they stood trial and would be executed for their crimes. And so the Nazi generals desisted, and some 60,000 Hungarian Jews uh, were saved. All in all, Raoul Wallenberg is credited with saving more than 100,000 Jews during the Holocaust, more than any other single individual during the Shoah. He's just a great man who had no nothing to gain personally from what he was doing. So risking your life every day is beyond heroism. We looked at him and we heard about him as the angel of Budapest. He disappeared into the Soviet gulag after the war. And despite international efforts, the ultimate fate of one of history's most courageous heroes remains unknown to this day. His name lives on, and more importantly, his memory lives on in the hearts and minds of the many Hungarian Jews he rescued, and in their descendants around the world, who now number in the hundreds of thousands. I think Wallenberg's legacy in, in human terms is really somebody who showed that just one person, just one person with the compassion to care and the courage to act could not only confront evil, but resist evil and thereby uh, transform history. <laughs>